come through. What was the name of Annie Bonnie's parente? This is what we got. We could have gone to. Remember, we got the ticket, but. Oh yeah. Now I'm definitely not going here. Who was the name of? Don't forget they're trying to listen to. Oh, sorry. That's okay. What was the name of Mary? No, Annie. What was her last name? Annie. Bonnie. Bonnie's parents' names. Right. I heard father. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know what the heck you do with infrared. Can I try? Yeah. Do you want to try mine? Yeah. Yeah. What is the name of Calico Jack's ship? Soldier. Also, I'm not going to lie. This, when we were in the first lot, I heard, um, you know, Doja Cat's song? Yeah. Vegas, and I heard, um, your dog play it. Ah, uh, again, I heard dog, and I forgot I heard it, and then he was like, oh, blah, blah, we heard dog earlier. So I'm like, for another girl. I'm like, I heard that. You want to go into the cemetery? Is that okay? No, no. What is the name of Calico Jack? I don't think Jack would have made it after the cursed picture. And how do you turn this down? Um, there's not really a way to turn it down. There's a way to turn it off. Let's do it because we're gonna go buy another burger. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want me to hold it? Sure. And you hold it there. You hold it on. Oh, the oops. Here. Okay. Still says right. It says human. Human? Yeah. I just don't know what this is picking up. I don't remember. Words that they're saying? Yeah, that what the ghost is saying? I think so. Where are the other people? Oh, this is cemetery. I'm not looking over there. Okay. You can infrared it. All voice. Can you hold this to them or no? Yes.
stuff together? Yeah. Okay, wanna go to the front of the pattern? What was the name of Calico Jack's ship? I think you gotta keep talking to it. What was the name of Calico Jack's ship? That Annie, what was her last name? Bonnie. Annie Bonnie and Mary Reed. Reed. I wonder if we gotta go to here. Is it right? That'd be so cool. What was the name that, um, that Calico Jack? Shit was named. Oh, yeah. Here's four. Now I'm getting worried. Is it going to You don't have to get worried. Yeah. What was the name of Calico Jack's shit? What was the other question we could ask? Um, some... Alright, what names are we hearing? What you guys got? I got Queen. Queen? I got Connor. And West. I don't know if it's a name or a direction. Anything else come up? Uh, no. For names or anything? Anything. Um, I got Medium. Oh, those are showing up on your virtual? Yeah. Oh, for, I'm down. sorry. It's okay. Wow. It's okay. I just didn't put them together. So okay. Okay. Alright, those of you with noise and scare boxes, let's go ahead and move them and bring them down. We are next to a hotel, so again, consider a quiet area for that little tiny sign right above your head. Um, you can see the hotel there. Please pay what it So, welcome to Lodge Alley, everybody. What is this place? When we crossed that last crosswalk coming down East Bay Street, that's where the original Charles Town Walls used to be. You're standing on one of the first streets we ever had. Mm -hmm. The reason I asked you for a list of names or whatever you guys heard is because I had the full list of residents of every single person that's ever been down here. Man, you guys didn't get anything out of here? Nothing? And you have the one that's recording, am I right? Yeah, you guys can write down. Um, so, the full list of names isn't very lengthy, so don't be super impressed. But I do get the same two names every six to seven weeks. We are in week seven of that loop. Here's what goes on with this. So basically, I hear the names of you guys hear the names Benjamin and John every six to seven weeks. The interesting thing is that there's a Benjamin and John that both lived here in 1801. Now, there were four different Johns that lived down here in a 60-year time span. So John likes to give us his last name to verify which John it is. That name is Johnson. So we get Ben, John, and Johnson all in the same night. And yes, his mother was horrible and named him John Johnson. So I'm just going to put that out there. We have another... Um, a person that lives here at the same time here. His name is Alexander Alexander. So I don't know if they were just me moms back then, but take that for what it is. So here's why this is actually going on. The bricks you're standing on. These things have been here since 1739 that the historians know of. So again, it's a speculation a few hundred years. They're called Belgian blocks. They're made of granite. They are not supposed to have any type of EMF charge to them whatsoever. Like if you break open a magnet or a piece of quartz, it's going to give off an electrical charge. These are not supposed to do that. Andrew, pick a brick and literally put your device on a dry brick for me and let me know if you get any numbers. I don't care about colors in this case. So go ahead and set it down. Hands off. There you go. Um, so I expect up to a 1.1 because that's natural from the earth. Anything above that, I've seen go all the way up to 15. I don't know. So again, what is it? Two. So we're going to leave it there for just a few minutes. But again, the whole point of the stone tape theory is it states that anything natural from the earth that's been in the same place for a few hundred years can hang on to the consciousness of the memories of the things that occurred there and then replay them on electronic devices like what we're using now. So again, which is why we use all electronic devices. There's no vision boards and all that stuff down the garage that they're not using out here. I want things that we can actually measure. Um, so again, we're still trying to prove all of this, but again, this is week seven, and I'm not just saying that. It's a matter of like, I keep track of this, I keep track of moon phases to see what's making it happen. I have no idea. It hasn't been a fully proven theory yet. 
the other interesting thing about this place and why we're standing here, any of the numbers, by the way? Go ahead and pick it up. We're not going to get anything else other than that. Um, Freemason had Masonic Lodge here, which is where the alley gets its name from, Lodge Alley. So we do get terms wrapped around the Freemasons while we're here, so that would be Freemason, Mason, Brick, Symbols. Illuminati loves to show up on those red spirit boxes. That's the funny one because you guys are listening to radio stations. Who the hell is talking about the Illuminati on the radio, first off? Second, why are we only getting it while we're in this space? Six times last year, three times so far this year. And they've all been verified of the word Illuminati coming through. And it's all been from a direct radio station. I don't know which one, but we get it from a radio station every time. It's not this body. So, uh, just the other night, we actually had the term found in the yeah, yeah, yeah. show up as we were leaving. Again, I kind of took out one with a piece of salt too, like, wow, that's good stuff. So, that's all the history in this location. It kind of gives us just a gist of, like, what's the layout of the land, basically, with the walls. The next space we're going to go to is another alley. However, I can't take you all the way through it. Why? I didn't kick out. So, with that being said, you guys have all the blinky lights and the noise makers. Excuse us. Um, so, again, it is considered residential at the end. So, I don't take folks down there anymore. But we still stir up all the activity by telling the story outside of the alley. Um, and again, we will get close to that story throughout the remainder of our time together because we're going to be relatively close at the last stop um, to that alley. So we'll hear things from our last two as we have lead over like what we had with the Pinky Mansion and Pink Johns. So I will also tell you how I got booted out of the space because that's the fun part of the story. Um, and it's, again, it's part of why we go to the last space that we're going to after that. Um, any other terms show up on yours? Well, I, I mean, I don't, a whole bunch. I don't Thank know what you want to hear. Okay. Remarkable love. So hit the white box to the right of the word. Yeah. Oh. And give you all the words. Give me the last four. Can you add on my glasses? Oh, up. Uh, remarkable. Oh, remarkable. Love. Contriting. John Luck. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are going. We're going to stop filming as we exit the alley, just because we're going to be in cutting through a neighborhood to get to the next alley. We don't record cars for it. Joyful. It's okay. I'll get up there. She's just looking. No, no, I'm alright. Joy. Joy. I'll take it now, honey. I mean, you could always call the hotel. You want me to go? Are you sure? Okay. Oh, hold on. Joy, look. Joyful. Oh, you should say that to the guy. You should say that to the Why? guy. No, you wait. You I didn't wait. know. It's just so dark. Calm down. <laughs> didn't say look out or it's over. I heard it said that! Don't give away Bella's stuff. Do you want me to hold that while you bend?
Yeah, then we're going to get them home and they're going to be little a-holes all awake and liars. Right? Let's go, liar! Show them what's up! Can you see him? I'm up, I'm up. And her like, oh yeah. That's what she does to me. I'm a second wind now. Remember what used to happen with the EEGs we'd have to do? Yeah. She'd be dead tired and then all of a sudden at 2 a.m. she's like, oh. Hey, you want to switch? No, we're not no, switching. No switching. You get what you get. Sensitivity. And you just shut up. Sensitive. Get what you get, you'll be upset. Nice. Shall I find some money? <laughs> Eliza's last name. I think it is. I'm done. Maybe it was maybe it was John Adams. Well that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Maybe that's the president that went. I got the new yeah, I just got, I just got a video. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you have? I'm not getting anything. What time <laughs> did the mansion, something happen to it? <laughs> Alright, Joy, what do you got on there? Um, I heard rain. Oh, I got one. Rain got one. Jack, it's Joy's it. turn, dude. Rain down. Where else? Okay. I was just going to go I don't know. So if you, if you say stuff that comes up, I'll remember too. Okay. When did the man start? Oh, you've been saying it's going to be right. I hope it's not going to be out. It's a CCK. Oh. 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 T. What? Is that C? Oh. Oh, my right. God. C. C. Yeah, but I'm not, am I heat, I'm not heat sensitivity, I'm infrared. Oh, I don't know. Mine's born. Right. Everything you tell me. Just joking. Vegetable garden. Oh. garden. This was a vegetable garden. Hey, hey, I got it. This right, vegetable garden. This was it. Oh my God, I see a ship right there. All right, She's everybody, right. let's go to the back. I have vegetables. I think this is the And Nick, you'll tell me when to stop, right? Yeah, we're going to stop it right now. Okay. I kind of give you, want you to kind of focus on with yours. Um, Miss Carol. Eliza, the one we just talked about, is the second wife named Eliza from Charles. Mm -hmm. Back to back. Either really smart or really stupid, fellas. For those of you kind of thinking about that, that's a really dumb idea. But anyway, same year, no less. His first wife, Eliza, dies in January of 1744, and five months later, he marries the second. So, they both have a maiden name that starts with the letter L. See which Eliza we're dealing with by asking her maiden name. I've seen both of them show up on your spare box in the past. Chris, have I screwed up anybody's name yet, by the way? Have I been pretty good? Yeah. Good. All right, so Chris, with yours, I want you to go after Eliza's death. So anything you want to about her death, how old she was, what she died from, where she's buried, and which, what president was a pallbearer at her funeral. Like, these are very specific niche questions, so kind of keep that in mind. Uh, Melissa, with yours, I want you to focus on the mansion as well, because yours like to give us like one to two syllables at a time. So I know like most, basically what happens to the mansion are like one to two syllable answers. So what happened to it and when? And hopefully between the two of you, between you and Joy, you guys can give me a full date. Did you hear that? Those lines. So I am going to have to work with Andrew for a few minutes um, just to show him how to use that motion sensor. We are going to spread out in this lot. We're not going to go in between vehicles. We're, we're actually fortunate because there's only two vehicles here. Um, so again, just stay away from those two vehicles up there and let's have some fun. We're going to stay this way. Um, but I'll be bouncing around with all of you to see what's going on with your devices. Did, you, did you turn your volume up now? No. no. Okay. Okay, how are you? Do you remember what you're supposed to ask it? Yeah. I don't like this. Yes. We ask out loud? No, yes. I don't like this. It says okay. okay. Q. You just deal with it. Come on. I'm just going to help me out. All sequences escalate. 
You'll have to, you're going to wait, right? Yeah. And ask him? Go ahead. You, you get it. Be a active. Move around. Have you asked it yet, Mom? I did, a couple of times. What did it say? Smile. It said smile? It said, did you? Yeah, it said smile to you. Was it? Did it say anything else? Ratio. <laughs> Eliza, what's your name? Look at that nice thing. Yeah. Go over there. You can see umbrellas and stuff. Oh, yeah. The restaurant. That is the name of the truck. Oh, careful. There's a truck coming out. Joy. Oh, I thought he was. Maybe someone just hit this. Who's a man What? She's like, what's that on my face? Alright, Miss Carol, Please, make sure you guys, don't use this. Thing. G. So, it says G. Okay. Oh, is this what's in our hand? So, keep asking it. And there's a cop. Stay over here because of the truck for now. I already saw it when it popped up. We're going to see if it spells anything. We're not going to be scared. We're going to enjoy. Oh, another one. Oh. Jackson, you don't have to keep going back to him. Walk around. But stay over here because there's a car that might be coming out. Jack, Jack, you're supposed to gather data, so walk around, please. Oh, got another one. Yeah, so walk around, honey. Don't worry. Careful of the car. Jackson, enjoy. Keep walking. Just stay away from the truck. Jackson, Jackson. 
Yeah, it's collecting data, dude. What did it say? I don't know. Is there someone saying something? Remember, he said he's picking up all AM, FM. It picks up all sorts of stuff. I'm waiting for it to say, Joy, your leg is fine. Good luck on the golf tryouts. Joy, good luck on the golf tryouts. So come here, say it again. What happens to the mansion? Oh, that scared me for a second. Eliza, what happened to the mansion? It keeps going. Eliza, what happened to the mansion? Did you hear something? What did that say? Mine seems like the little said art on it. So, uh, but what did that say? I don't know what Utility. Utility. Maybe there was a utility fire. Oh, that's the light on. Oh, that's the light on. But I wasn't supposed to ask. Joy, what happened to Joy, you're supposed to just walk around. I am walking. Okay. I'm getting a massive activity. You're getting a massive activity? <laughs> it's keep happening. Cute. Yeah. That didn't sound like you. Joy. What? Did you just say what happened to the mansion? That didn't sound like you. What happened to the mansion? That didn't sound like you. Jackson and Joy. Come over here. Come on. Are you okay? Come in here, give me your water bottle. No, it's not out. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, 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 i can you hold this for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Hi. I'm holding it for my mom. I'm joking. Okay. What happened to the mansion? Well, president went to the funeral. I heard the word dead. I heard I the heard word dead. Jackson too. I heard the word dead. Jackson, come yeah, over here. You're, 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 but she is dead, so. Okay, but I'll go up. You're not going out. No, I think you gotta ask us. No, Joe, he's gonna ask us. What? Jackson, come over here. Yeah, but she is dead. I, I don't want to. What if it was still alive? I'm a zombie. Like, then you can freak out. I'm under your feet. <laughs> I'm under. The, I'm buried under the dumpster. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit to the left. <laughs> no, just a bit of me. All that was left. Just a bit. It's not funny. Okay. It's not funny. That's okay. Without my glasses, I thought it was BLT. I was like, oh. <laughs> what was the last meal you remember having? They're on the front. A piece of it broke off, hit somebody in the back of the head, and killed him. And they say you can see his ghost in the middle of East Bay Street in the middle of the night. I said apparently a lot with that because I don't have any proof. It's just a great segue, so nobody's thinking about getting sick on the tour. 
So again, that's the whole point of that. Yeah. Even though I just brought it back up again, Andrew's like, yeah, that was kind of stupid, dude. But again, yeah. it's a joke. We're mm. supposed to have some fun out here. All right, everybody ready to go ghost hunting? Yep. All right, we're actually going to head this yeah, way. Yeah, we are. I thought I was going to It's the heat. You sure? 100%. Yeah. Just like, it's one now, so it feels like. I took ibuprofen in there. For us, it's the heat. Like the thing is, the Christmas tree in when we did it, that we knew. That definitely felt real. This is just the heat. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody oh, here? Is there? <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. So let's say that Chris actually hears the answer no. That means somebody's here. <laughs> we are not going to be using yes or no questions all night long. <laughs> Even if you're here because you're a skeptic and you just want to have some fun, we're not going to get any paranormal evidence at all from yes no questions. We're going to be going after specific details. For example, if somebody's here, tell me what color the big red barn is. Obviously, we're looking and listening for the color red looking because Miss Carol has a word list that she can't hear. She's only looking at the word list. The rest of you are using song lyrics and DJ to convey messages back to us, and the word red might not be available to you, to them, to be able to convey back to us. So, fi fire truck, blood, heart, those three things are specifically red. I would take that as an acceptable answer if it was the rest. However, most of the night I'm going to require that there's at least two happenings before I even come close to labeling something as being paranormal. Another example. Let's say Carol's word list has the word heart on it. That doesn't mean anything over here by itself. Uh, but then Amanda hears the number 40 on her spirit box. Put them together, our spirit box is number 40 on Big John's team. Do you guys see where I'm going with putting the clues together? This is more like an escape room than it is a ghost room. Mm -hmm. So again, it's all about piecing the puzzles together. Just so you also know, I will be holding, like, withholding information throughout the night to make sure everybody has a genuine experience. Again, I will make sure I can prove it before I say, wow, that's a great clue. You're going to hear me say the word secondary verifier quite a bit tonight, because again, not everything is considered paranormal. If it is a first clue and I put it in your data and I didn't find a second, I will still give you a link so that way you can continue the research. Because again, I'm spot checking everything. Uh, let's talk about the cameras. So we have three cameras in place tonight. We're going to be in some spaces when there will be parked cars and people walking by. Um, if I do like an Andy's coming, that means everybody's not recording or taking photographs. So Andy, yours is really easy. You've got a cell phone, so basically, so it looks like you're playing on a phone. Chris over there, like basically, you got it. Point. Okay. Straight down at your side, pointing at the ground. Okay. Um, again, people don't like their cars to be filmed. They don't like to be filmed themselves. We're gonna look like a bunch of squatters out here. Um, and Paul, as far as you go, file games look like a tourist. I don't mind, but we're not gonna be staying on somebody's vehicle for far too long. Just kind of keep that in mind. All right, so Anthony, we'll start with your camera. You're going to try to do two things for us. I know I told you don't film people, but I do want you to try to keep one of us in view at all times. Okay. The reason why, we're the warmest thing out here. Okay. Um, so, again, with that, it gives us that easier spot to be able to spot it close to the sky because it's got The other thing, keep the sky out. Okay. Um, I know it's gorgeous tonight, it's nice and clear, but that blue dot will default to the sky because it doesn't have a surface. So, again, people in the sky out. 
Chris, on your end, nice slow movement. We're not using lasers tonight with somebody following you around with laser grids. So the slower you go, the easier it is to watch your video. Um, and again, you and I will do a few starts and stops as well, just to make sure, because I'm going to splice all the videos together for you to make one uh, infrared video and then one thermal video. So again, no matter how many starts and stops you guys do, I work all night to make sure it all splices together for one each. And how do I stop? Did so you show me? On the top of the camera, there's three buttons, the one all the way to the right. It's right there. Okay. Yep. So again, that'll be your button. Gotcha. All right. Um, Andrew, I have to work with you at the next stop, because that'll be the first place we use that motion sensor. Uh, did you get any readings on your call at all? Did you get any kind of colors? No. Okay, all right. Let's go get away from football players and ponies and deep dive into history. Still don't have anything else other than JQ? Well, we don't have enough ghosts. Let's go find some more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I was going to sell mine. Yeah, honey. Yeah, That's it's the heat, and if he had never said that, you wouldn't be thinking about it. It's interesting. This is interesting. He does it with his kids. It's not scary. Yeah. Okay, we're crossing the street, so be careful. Businesswoman during colonial times. 
So again, that's our business. Let's get into the weird stuff, because that's why everybody's here, right? Because you guys want to see weird crap. So, we're just going to go through each spirit box, and I'll be assigning you questions. So, with that said, Jackson, I'm going to like leave yours kind of wide open. I'm not going to give you any questions. I just kind of want to see what letters are going to pop up with yours. Amanda, I want you to focus on the children. I know there, I told you there was at least one, Carlos, but there's more. You can ask how many and what their names were, but nothing else. The reason I'm telling her nothing else is there's a tragedy among those kids. All activity will stop. Um, do we have any numbers over here at all, by the way? No. Okay, so if we did, obviously everything would go down to zero. Don't poke the bear on this one. I'm going to kind of hold you to it, because then we'll all know what you want. Uh, let's see, here's my next spirit box. So, with yours, the mansion's not here anymore. You can ask what happened to it, and when did that happen? I'm looking, obviously, for a very specific... ...see if um, the humidity is going to affect the camera. That will happen from time to time. Um, not very often, but I like to make sure nice and early so we can fix that problem. So, Kristen, this one's actually going to go to you. Oh, and where do I hold let's it go. on the bottom? Nope, there's a handle right where your hand's at. Okay. Yep, there you go. Don't right. be afraid of it. It's got some weight to it. Okay. So, okay. nice flow yeah. movements. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, don't worry, dude. Woo -woo, we're good. No, we're that's that's that so camera. weird, Jack. You're not there. <laughs> spirit boxes. We're going to be using several different types of spirit boxes tonight. That's pretty precious. <laughs> sure it is. Can Listen, we have let them talk. Ideas. Let them talk. So, spirit boxes are a way for us to communicate <laughs> with the dead. So, in essence, on your TV shows, they normally give you the white noise, and then your host will tell you what he thinks he heard in the middle of it. Again, trying to convince you of the same thing. We're going to be doing that in real time, only my spirit boxes are slowed down. So, the reason why I slow them down is because capturing a disembodied voice through basically static is a rarity. It does happen, but not on a nightly basis. I'm allowing the radio chatter to come through, song lyrics, DJs, commercials, on purpose. In the event the DJs and the song lyrics say something, it's a it might be relevant to the space of where we are, a person in history we're talking about, or even something going on with one of you. It happens all the time. My name loves to show up on this guy all the time. The cool thing is, is that the person using it, Amanda, is going to have an earbud in. So she's going to be the only one to hear it in real time. I'll be writing everything down that she hears, but this is also recording the radio sweep for you. Wow. I will be spot checking this guy tomorrow morning, giving you my findings on top of Amanda's findings. So again, I will always give you a, a link to be able to verify the information that goes along with this. So Amanda, earwax is gross. You get to keep these earbuds. I don't want them back. <laughs> yeah. uh, you have to undo the twist tie because they are brand new. And then there's a volume wheel at the top. So I have it turned all the way down right now. So get used to how that works and pop one of those earbuds in your ear. <laughs> And I, I want to just say, I turned to my mother and I said, of course, there's an Andrew. So Both the kids have these, but Andrews as dad. Like my nephew and my, yeah, there's always an Andrew around us. I'll be relying on the person yeah. in real time of whatever they hear to be able to tell me so I can manually record it. The reason for that is because if I give you guys four hours of white noise and radio static, somebody's going to hunt me down. So uh -huh. two hours, I think, is plenty. So again, with that, Chris, this one's actually going to go to you. Okay. Earwax is a gross. You get it? So let me untangle that for you. specific device mm -hmm. so the way this guy works is it's also scanning radio stations and recognizing words from its 9100 word dictionary and putting them on the screen it's another way of communication to be able to match things up among all of the different styles of spirit boxes we're using this guy is going to save every term and phrase that pops up on here with a timestamp it helps me when something does come up relevant of where to watch the videos where to listen to Amanda's recording so forth and so on I'm gonna clear out last night they had 74 terms that's about average for a two-hour time frame but this is a phone app. 80% of this is going to be garbage. So it's the other 20% of it where it's actually going to be relevant to our space, a person, or something going on with one of you. So, Miss Carol, this one's oh, going to go to you. This is yes, an easy Carol. one. All you got to do is hold it. I will come to you when, okay. when I want to see the words. All right, good. There you go. That's a super easy one. <laughs> How did you know that's what I wanted? Because <laughs> I do this seven them. nights a week. What? Somebody told them. <laughs> I 
Oh, like that's so nice, Jack. I'm willing. I'm willing okay. to get one back. The next spirit Jeff. box is going to be a lot different than the others. This guy is going to sweep through both FM and AM radio stations simultaneously, attempting to take out the white noise that Amanda and Chris are actually listening to. So hopefully we're going to get about 10 to 12 words that are going to be relevant to our, our spaces tonight. So this guy is open air speaker. I left it on mute for right now. So Melissa, this one's going to go to you. Um, again, the way you hold it is obviously blinking lights with the top speakers here. There's a mute button that I just pressed. It's the only button on the right hand side. We're going to leave it pressed until we get past the horses. They don't like the white noise. Yes, I take the horses very, very seriously as I'm sure you guys can, can see that. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see. What do I want to go to next? <sighs> this guy. I know. Fun little tune right at the beginning, right? So this is the brand new device. We are going to be testing this out. I've had it less than a week. Uh, we've been getting some things out of it, but basically what this is doing is it's moving through every letter of the alphabet, and based on any EMF spike, it will stop on specific letters. The hope here is that we can figure out words, names, anagrams, or initials. That's the hope. So again, very unique device, brand new to the market, about two months old. So, Jackson, this one's going to go to you, sir. Let's go! And we're going to see how this works out. So, I already kind of have it set up, so I will come to you when I want to see what letters have popped up and see what it's spelling. Okay, so you just hold it. Yes. Yeah, hold. that's powerful. That one's going to <laughs> All right, so these guys, these are pretty much a necessity when we're doing any kind of paranormal investigation. So, with that said, we're going to use this to actually debunk a lot of things. So, basically, it's going to help me detect any parking meters, electrical wires, buildings, your phone was too close, yada yada. You guys get it. Electronic items. The reason why they use these on TV is because they're super sensitive. It makes it look like something big and huge is happening. But we actually use them to debunk a lot of things. Because this job is so easy, Paul, you're going to have two, two devices. I always hand this to an adult because they don't know what the hell it is. We have a digital camera. So the kids don't know what to do with this guy. So you're going to be taking hundreds and hundreds of pictures for us. I don't care what uh, selfies do get deleted, just so you know. But there's no flash on this camera. So the reason for that is because I don't want any false positives off of cars, windows, that kind of thing. Anything that's too dark, I just lighten it up to see if anything's actually going on in there. But people, your group should be following you around because you're going to know basically where the hotspots are. This will help detect, but it mostly helps debunk. So you actually get both of those. Lucky you, you're double fisted. Now, let's see. Andrew. You're going to have the multitask tool. So because she has an extra earbud, you're going to be able to help Amanda out by listening oh, in. So what, what this guy actually does is it also has an electromagnetic field meter in it, like I just handed Paul. So anything above 2.5 would be his second green dot. I want to know what's going on, anything above 2.5 on the big numbers. The bottom number is ambient temperature. Anything comes up on Anthony's screen, you and I can debunk it or prove it with the yellow probe here at the top. So again, it's just there at the ready. The last thing that it has is it has a motion sensor built into it. If anything gets close to the antenna that I just pulled out, it's going to go off. So I'm not touching it right now. Now I'm touching it. Obviously different tones, different colors of lights. You and I will talk about that at the first off. We'll use it for now, just kind of get used to the red numbers. She's getting all over. What? She's always getting scared. No, she's not getting scared. No, she's getting excited. You guys need a spirit box you can actually listen to. So your spirit box is open air as well. So this is an older style spirit box. So it's a little harder to listen to. I just said spirit. Did everybody hear that? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So the only thing you need to worry about with this guy is where the volume is. It's on the ball speaker. So if this screen is at the top. You just roll this down to obviously turn it down while I'm talking to the whole group. And then you just roll it up and hold it to get the volume back up. You just have to give it a second. Be patient. So that way you guys can actually work on that one together. Everybody's geared up, right? I love how she gets it. All right. I'm going to say Jackson's in charge. Let me know what happens. Yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so thank you for making the bag lighter. That's yeah. always a plus for me. So welcome to Big John's. There's a reason why we start here, of course. The place is haunted. Of course it is. That's why I told you guys. I was Anything. asking you guys about why you guys were eating there. Because <laughs> we didn't know. This place it used to be owned by a football player. His name was Big John Kennedy. Obviously, it's named after him. He played for the 1947 New York Giants. 
whenever I'm telling you the history of a place or a building, I will always slow down on the keywords that commonly come up on spirit boxes. 47, New York, Giants, anything relatable to a bar and the name John are obviously keywords for this space. Here's why the place is haunted. John used to sit at the back of the bar and he would tell the bartender, the cadets that were coming over from the Citadel, if they were old enough to drink or not. Hmm. One night two guys came in, they weren't old enough to drink. So John had the bartender throw them out and they left pretty angry. They came back the next night and they tried to steal the cash register from the front of the bar. John saw what was going on, slams down his beer, goes over and just starts beating these guys up, just pounding them into the floor. A couple of gunshots went off. John got grazed in the neck and the bullet landed behind him in the wall in the front of the bar. So, what's haunting the place is the bullet hole. Allegedly, Big John's may have filled it in because this is a renovation. So the whole point of this is John didn't die from that story. What's haunting the place is that his blood was in, in walls. So basically, people that sit in the front of this bar, like these four right here, tend to get a little queasy, nauseous, or headache. Again, <laughs> it's a tendency. Right. <laughs> this is kind of a heated warning. I will need to know if anybody feels any of those symptoms throughout our evening. We will always blame the heat and Chill humidity out. first. Mm -hmm. Again, not everything is paranormal, just so you guys know. Chill Again, out. I'm not the guy where everything's a, you know, oh my God, it's got to be a ghost. I'm not that guy. I will do a lot of debunking tonight. But again, I have to put out that warning just because. But it so was. That way we can move the whole group and get that person to safety if anybody's feeling that way. But it was hot in the front of there. It was cool oh, back here. Yes. It was no. hot. Well, let's see if it actually spells out the rest of John's name. Let's get our minds off of our own health, right? Because Joy's getting a little concerned. Yeah. So, I do know. Big okay. earthquake here in 1886. Oh. If you didn't already know Listen. that from Listen. any other Listen. tour in town. Listen. From any other tour, now you do. We all talk about the earthquake because it's an anomaly for South Carolina. We're supposed to have hurricanes, not earthquakes. But Big John's the building is allegedly where the first death occurred from that earthquake. Oh. The